We live in one of the most active places in the world for earthquakes. Many of them happen well offshore in the Pacific, but new modeling is giving more insight on the Cascadia subduction zone. That's why you have kind of all around the Pacific, this, you know, ring of fire is because of, it's really all because of water um, that's being carried in deep into the earth. Gary Egbert with Oregon State University has come up with a new three-dimensional model that shows fluid developing deep in the earth's crust. He's been a researcher and professor in the College of Earth, Ocean and Atmospheric Science for over three decades. What we're able to do is use this technique to see where the water is. Egbert has been researching a section of the Cascadia subduction zone known as Celestia. It stretches from Vancouver Island down to Roseburg. He found that it doesn't allow for as much water to get into that part of the crust. Continental crust, the crust that we sit on, the rocks that we sit on, is really sort of made up of uh, different kinds of rock. He's been paying close attention to the type of rock that sits in that area. Where is where this volcanic rock stops and where the sediment begins. And, and so I think one of the really key things is, is that we can really see that these sedimentary rocks are pushed underneath the continental edge. Using this 3D modeling, it allows him to see where the weaker rocks are and where the stronger rocks lie. The sedimentary rocks or metasedimentary rocks are very good at storing fluid and we can see the fluid and we can you know, see where the, where the fluid is collecting is in the sedimentary rocks. He says this could help determine how some rocks can withstand more pressure below the Earth's surface compared to other types of rock. You know, it's going to tell us something about the kinds of rocks and the strengths of the rocks. Egbert also says that 3D modeling can also help determine how far the earthquake rupture could go. He says more research needs to be done to see what that means for the amount of a damage of a potential earthquake. It just can't determine when an earthquake could happen. Back to you guys.